Good morning or afternoon, everyone. Uh, we're going to go ahead and begin in just about 30 seconds. Thank you. Happy Red Ribbon Week! Red Ribbon Week is a drug awareness prevention campaign celebrated every year in October. During this week, we unite to encourage students, to encourage you to take a stand against drugs and make healthy choices. Today, Officer Jimenez and Officer Sanchez from the Bronzeville Police Department are here to talk to you about this very important message. Officers, Good afternoon, guys. My name is Officer Jimenez from the Bronx Police Department. I've been an officer now for 13 short years. Uh, enjoy my job very much. It's Officer Sanchez. Uh, he's been here for 22 years. 22 years. 22 years in the department. We're here to talk about red women. Say no to the drugs. Um, it's very important that you guys know how drugs uh, do to you guys. Uh, drugs are bad and are good for you. So to start off, we're going to show a video real quick, and then from there we'll go into our presentation. All right?
Okay, guys. Um, this is a story of Agent Camarena. Agent Camarena came from a uh, very low background. It was very poor when he grew up. Okay, he saw drugs in, his, in the neighborhoods, did not like it, wanted to do something about it. He became a police officer, a narcotics officer, in fact. He did a lot of work, a lot of uh, cases. He took out drug dealers down and started out drugs. From there, he went to a federal government for DEA, okay, where he got sent to Mexico, and he was kidnapped, tortured, and killed for the job he was doing. Okay, that's what we celebrate with every week in honor of Mr. Carrera. Okay, now, we're here to talk to you about drugs, all right? Now, drugs, you say, oh, you know, uh, all marijuana and all those other drugs, but those, those drugs, and there's also drugs at home. Okay, we have cigarettes, it's a type of drug. Alcohol, it's a type of drug. Medications are drugs. Okay, you gotta be careful. You guys are seventh graders, sixth graders, and ninth graders, I believe. All right, you guys are young. All right, you guys need to pay attention to what you guys do in life. All right. Like I said in the past, everything you guys do is consequences. Good or bad, but they're consequences. All right? You decide to do drugs, guess what? There's going to be negative consequences in your life. All right? You can get arrested, um, turn out of your house, in the streets, you know, not have no money. I mean, all this is happening when you do drugs. If you don't do drugs, Odds are you become a person who has a job, family, house, car, the whole thing. All right. But you guys have to be careful. Okay. It's very important. Um, my partner and I have seen a lot of things. All right. I've been here 13 years and I've seen a lot of good and a lot of bad. Okay. I've seen a lot of people that I grew up with that were younger and they got involved with drugs, and they up in the streets. Okay, so even the alleyways, in on trash cans, all right? Because the drugs, they were so tight the drugs that that's all they can do, all right? So you guys have to be careful like what you guys do. Especially, drugs are very addictive. You know, it's not that, hey, just try once here, try, 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 nothing's gonna happen. Something will happen. Drugs are, drugs are just very, very addictive drugs, and there are some times you get one and you're addicted for life. Right? And you guys are young, and you can do a lot of good in this world with your lives. Right? But you guys need to be aware of the bad things around you. Right? Because there are a lot of bad people out there, and a lot of bad drugs out there. Now, Different types of drugs. There's uh, cigarettes. What? Why cigarette a drug? The nicotine. You get addicted to nicotine. All right. So you got that. He goes into your lungs. Collapses your drunk in your lungs. Drugs, beer, alcohol. Look what happens when you drink alcohol. In the morning, we've seen many of those in the past. Possibly. Alcohol. All right. They actually, so we know the car flipped. It happens often. Okay. Alcohol impairs your vision. Uh, you work out uh, your. Everything, everything, your, 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 your
Your nervous system, thank you. Your nervous system. Okay. You drink, you lose control of everything, you can fall asleep in the road. All right. Car flips. Now you say, ah, oh, that doesn't happen. It happens all. I've been to car accidents where the car, the guy is so drunk, he falls asleep in the, in the car, going 45, 50 miles per hour, slams into the concrete barrier. And he shoots off like a, like a, like a rocket out of the car and dies. Okay, so alcohol is not good for you guys. You need to be careful with that. Next one is marijuana. But when it's also an ego drug, okay, it's almost calm, it gets you down, all right, get you, uh, get you hungry, okay, but again, those are ego drugs, make you do crazy things sometimes, things that you wouldn't normally do, all right, so be careful with those things. Now it's cocaine. This is what Cabrera was going after. Cocaine over there in Mexico. People that were making cocaine, straight cocaine, coming into the United States of America. They were doing such a great job that they went after him and they got him. Okay. Now so let's have a different type of cocaine. So Correct cocaine, crack cocaine. That's what it looks like. And they're selling all the other types of baggies. Inhalants. Aerosols. Those get you very high. Those things can get you very high. People that get into those things, you see them downtown, in the alleys, all passed out. Yes. Spray spray bottle, sharpness, glue, anything like that. It gets you like that. And you get hooked up. That messes with your brain. It kills your brain cells. Okay? And, it, and sooner or later, you start not being there and you don't know what you're doing. What? The aerosol? It's the, the chemicals that they have. The chemicals that are made of them. Okay? It makes sense with your, with your brain. The way your brain works. Okay? And it can make you real down or real high or something. But what that does is do this actually take your brain cells. Okay? And so later, we ask them, we ask a question, hey, what's your name? Hey, hey, how you doing? You can be like, huh? You know? So take your seconds to, oh, did you call me? What did you say? Okay? That what happens. And the more you do it, the more it with your brain. And you'll be out. Even when you're high, you're still out there. It's too much of your brain, your brain activity, because of brain cells. Yes, sir. How do I know how it feels because I'm, I never done it before? Good question. I never done drugs. That's what I'm giving. Okay. I never done drugs. That's why I had this job. Listen, I'm not going to answer your question. So you're asking me why. How many drugs are swamping? But I've seen a lot of people, 
I've dealt with a lot of people that have done drugs. Okay? That have done all different types of drugs. Now, I've never done it. I don't know how it feels, but I see other people that have done it, you know how they react, and I have to know how they feel. That's why I'm going to tell you, it does this, it does that your body. And it's also research. This is just different types of drugs that are out there, all right? Things you need to understand and know what's on there. Now, this is a common drug, ecstasy, okay? And they can come in different shapes, different pills, with different logos, different everything on there, okay? And you guys need to be careful with these drugs, all right? Because they are very illustrative and they will knock you out. And you will not know what's happening until you wake up. See why I want you drugs? Before and after. And these are real pictures, all right? They're not like fake pictures. This, this is a crack. Okay. This is what happens. A girl taking crack. This picture is not even eight months before she started doing crack. Okay. That's what happens to the body. That's crystal. That's a crystal man. All right? So it does take a toll on your body. Just say no, guys. Say no.
So basically, you all know you all been taught from kindergarten to always teach you how to say no to drugs, all right? Everybody tells you don't do it, so people so decide to do it. And in the long run, it is going to affect you and your future. And it doesn't only affect you, the person it affects your family. Okay? And why, how does it affect your family? Because of you being a drug addict, you got addicted to drugs, what happens? You start stealing from your family. And then what happens? They kick you out, so you're going to end up in the streets, you can't go to jail, and it will sooner or later kill you. It might not kill you the first time, but it will catch up to you. Now, I guess for now, uh, there's a lot of newer drugs like fentanyl. That one right there, it gets mixed around with a lot of stuff. That one, if you give you a pure dose of that, you will die as soon as you touch it. Um, no, are we familiar with any drug that's out? Alright, exactly. So if somebody offers you something, don't take it because you don't know what it is. Crack cocaine, that one, all it takes is one time for you to get addicted to it. One time. That's a cheap version that they sell to who? To everybody in lower income families. Why? Because with one ride, you probably pay $10 for it. But that way, you get so addicted to it the first time that you want to go back again. So everybody says, one time, I'll do it one time and I'll stop. It's not going to happen. All right. So, yes, go ahead. What is it? Yes, those are the thing, those drugs, brother, please part me confiscated. Okay. And uh, it is in the schools, it's probably here. Oh, oh. Esa es la esquema. No, después que vayas a la corte, porque es evidencia, ¿verdad? Cuando vayas a la corte y vayas a enseñar las drogas que tú tenías, te van a llevar ahí. Y luego, ya que te den tu sentencia de 5 años, 10 años, depende de qué tanto tiene, las queman. Right. Y, like I said, and it's not only legal drugs, legal drugs, like they were showing you, cigarettes, liquor, everybody drinks, you know, everybody's out down here that drinks, right? And you always, one of the questions is how do you know how it feels to get that? Just look at the person, look at your uncle, your aunt, your dad, when you get drunk. They act like fools, right? And what happens when, when that happens? You drink, you down, drink, you call them, what happens after that? You get into an argument right away. So, just because it's a legal drug doesn't mean you can take advantage of it. Alright, everything has, like my partner was saying, has consequences. So, before you start doing something, make sure that's what you want. You have a question, sir? You? Huh? Oh, I said, which, which, which name? Yeah. Who? You had something to say or something? You kept on doing your hand like you're calling him when they're asking something. Sure. If you have something to say, we can help you out. Alright. Do you have any questions on the drugs? What's that? Um, usually, if that would happen, say I'm not seeing you, but the person, they were patting me down. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Now, uh, if I would get some, get poked by the people that the person had, that person would be charged with assault on the field or assault on the So if I'm searching you and I get punctured by your needle, you know, that person will be charged. Then, the reason why is now I gotta go to the doctor. I gotta be taking myself every so often. Okay. And now we are in part, but and now we can't. Because it's an assault. Because you had it on you. You didn't tell me you had it on you. Or they tell you on you and they tell you to pull it out. Or I'll be carefully put it out for you, depending on the situation. That's why. We're not, usually most of the time they'll tell you everything on you. You're going to tell me no or your yes. Question? Uh, 
they they remember they have like the Joe Brady Center, it's like three coming and like the bodies, like that. And they're not here, yeah, and they're, we're not there and pepper smoke. Yeah, no, no. No. Well, I no, we don't do that here. In Mexico, I see they from the time because you see they where they burn all the drugs in the open. Any more questions? No. Guys, again, um, just remember, uh, drugs are bad. Say no to drugs. All right. Uh, like my partner said, drugs are sometimes you try once and you hope for life. It's very hard, very hard to get. Um, Get out of those drugs, right? So be careful. Be careful what you guys do, all right? Like the, the, he said, I know how it feels. Well, I don't personally know. I never tried drugs before, all right? That's why I'm here talking to you guys about it. Because I stay clean. I'll say what they can. I'll go to school, graduate, give us a little job, all right? And maybe things goes from there, all right? But I see people that have done drugs. And they were from, from alcohol to marijuana to cocaine to crack cocaine to everything. All right? And they don't look, they're look good. I know people that started crack cocaine. Maybe a year later, they're all skinny, they're all bones, they're all, they look bad. Their teeth all yellow, falling down. On, I mean, it's ugly. All right? And I, it's, it's not good. So you guys need to be careful. Life out there is very difficult. And you don't want to add that to the next year. All right? Okay, guys, well, thank you much for coming us over. Appreciate it. Uh, for everything you guys have. Uh, thank you for your comment. Thank you for everything. Officer Jimenez and Officer Sanchez for sharing this very important message with our students. So boys and girls, now is the time to commit to a drug-free life. Uh, we, Lucio Middle School, want to thank each and every one of you wearing your superhero shirt today. Yes, you do have the power to say no. Please plan to participate and show your support in tomorrow's activity. Reach for your dreams. Stay drug-free. Pajama day. So we hope to see each and every one of you showing your support. Again, thank you so much, and let's give a last uh, a round of applause to the officers.